all. I'm Graham Sanders and I live at Townsville, North Queensland. That's where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. You're currently watching one of my Tetragonula Hocking's Eyes Hive in the middle of winter. And this is not a video on showing you the activity right in the middle of winter and that there's plenty of bees around. No, we're going to talk about ventilation and condensation in the hive. You've seen many people say and worry about condensation of water in a hive. And they will say that plastic hives and even steel hives, foam hives, don't work because they have condensation in them. Well, that's not true because the bees are very good at removing moisture out of the hive. There are plenty of pictures of the species Carbonara where you see around the entrance just heaps of water stains yellowing from the water and max wax sorry water and native beeswax mixed together and all around the entrance but you don't see it in Hocking's eye because in Hocking's eye's hives they use the ventilation hole to remove moisture and that's why when you have a Hocking's eye hive you have to ensure that ventilation hole is working I'm going to show you a very good example of this now on this hive and you're going to have to forgive me because even though it's a wooden hive it's got condensation problems because there's heaps of honey going into this even in the middle of winter and they're trying to remove the moisture now to do this I'm going to have to move the camera around the back and position the torch so forgive me a second while I pause this okay this is going to be a magical effort if I can ever get it right as you can see here, I'm round the back of the hive. You can see the ventilation hole here. What you can't smell is the sheer sweetness coming out of this hive. The smell of sweet honey. It is strong in this hive and it's coming out in droves. The smell is quite intense, but it's not the smell I want to show you. Let's see if I can get this right. Get the camera right and get this torch right. This is a juggle and a half, so hang on. what I'm trying to get here for you and you can see there it is you can see the glisten of moisture look at it you can actually see water that's right that's water that glistening as I said I've got to get both a torch right and this camera right oh I tell you what not easy but that is moisture that is actual water if I get side on whoops I don't know if I can catch this. No, the drop's just fallen. A drop of water just fell. And I'll see if I can catch where it fought, fell to. Hang on. Sorry, I couldn't catch where it fell through. But what I'm trying to show you here, and I'll see if I can get it at this angle, is that they are removing the water in the hive through the vent hole doesn't show up nearly as well here I just can't get that light right pity this is in a dark area I'd make it so much easier oh again you can see a bit of the glisten there just thought I'd show you that so the ventilation hole in beehives you may think think it's clogged up you may think it's not in use but guess what extremely important for at least Hocking's eyes in the tropics. I was just wondering, has anyone had this before? This is from a TH hive. They've got a second hole down the bottom which they've nearly closed up, but they use it as a vent hole. You put your hand in front of it, you can feel air coming out of it, it's always coming out of it. But where they've put the propolis around it and the wax, it's in the mornings is wet it's like from the hot air that comes out of the hive actually causes condensation and makes the propolis wet 
and it's dripped down the front. And in showing you the importance of the ventilation hole, especially with Hocking's eyes bees, this is another example. Here is a hive, very early morning. The outside temperature is barely turning 20 degrees, which is when they come out. And you can see there just a bee starting to come in and out. But of course, we're not talking about the front, we're talking about the back. Okay, far more difficult to pick up because I've got to reach over and sort of try to get this so I'm reaching. But can't you see that? Bee activity all around the ventilation hole. In fact, far more activity than out the front. There's the hive, same hive. I'm just trying to get into a position where I can get this nice and close. That's a bit better. Oh, shit. i to do a hernia here. There you go. That's the importance of the ventilation hole in Hocking's Eyes Hive. They're actually out and about in the ventilation hole, making sure it's all secure. Scenting it up, you can see all the scent marks by MAD. Like MAD, I should say, that they're do doing. It's very important for Hocking's Eye. Alright, I'm going to cut this short because I'm about to bloody bust a gut. Ow, 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 ow